my students are not here. So, shall we stand up? If you don't mind. And we're going to just start, I always start all my classes shaking. Okay? So, shake it out. I go, because it's mad and fun. So, go for it. But when you do that, you loosen out the jaw. You know, this is tension a little bit. So, go. So, you're a Libby. Oh my God, Libby, you've grown so much. I don't recognize you. And you're Margaret. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Shake again one more time. Lovely. So now that you've stood up and done all that, you're going to lie down. <laughs> and I'm tempted to set the alarm for an hour and we can all sleep and then wake up later. <laughs> but just lie down. Make yourself as comfortable as you can, lying on your back. Okay? And if that's really not comfortable and you prefer to go on your side, then that's fine. But start off lying on your back. If your lower back hurts, feel free to bend your knees. Okay? And you can also, as once you've bent your knees, you might want to take your feet a little bit wider and drop the knees into so that they touch. Okay? And that can help to release the lower back. Those of you with your legs straight, then just allow your feet to naturally roll away from each other and turn the palms up so that we start to open out the chest. And then close your eyes if you can. If that's not a comfortable thing to do, then have your gaze soft looking up at the ceiling. Okay. And then take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And again, deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out. One more time. Nice deep breath in. And sigh the breath out. And then allow the breath now to flow in and out freely and softly. And stay watching the breath for a moment. So watch as the breath flows in. Watch as the breath flows out. And the mind it always wants to go away from the breath. Yeah? So when you notice the mind wandering away from the breath, just simply bring it back. Bring it back to breathing in and breathing out. Take a moment to check in with yourself, see how you're feeling. And notice how you're breathing right now. Is your breath nice and deep and slow? Or is it short and shallow and jagged? And can you invite the breath to be a tiny bit slower so that your in-breath becomes a little bit deeper and your out-breath becomes a little bit longer? Breathing in, drawing the breath all the way down to the pelvic floor. And as you breathe out, can you gently squeeze the pelvic floor muscles very gently and lift upwards. So the pelvic floor muscles are the muscles at the base of your torso. Okay? It's, like, it's almost like trying to stop yourself from going to the loo, but it's not just the squeeze. You want to gently squeeze from the front, the back and the sides and then lift up. And as you breathe in, send the breath down and relax the pelvic floor muscles. And breathing out, gently lift up again, squeeze and lift, breathing in and relax. Okay. So if maximum effort is 100%, right? You only want to squeeze maybe 15%. So it's not that hard, right? So it's a gentle squeeze and lift and lower. Wonderful. And then let's start moving now. So when you're ready to breathe in next time, if you've got your knees bent, can you extend the legs out? So just so that we can do a big full body stretch, reach your arms overhead and reach your fingers and your toes away from each other. Get really long. If you're stuck at the wall, you might want to slide away from the wall a little bit. And then reach one side a little bit longer than the other. And then reach the other side a little bit longer than the first. And keep that going. So you're kind of going left, right or right, left, whatever, a few times. And once you've done both sides evenly, use your next out breath to bring your knees up to your chest and wrap your arms across your legs. Okay? So bend the knees and bring the feet off the mat, knees towards the chest and hug the legs in and gently rock side to side. Just noticing how your lower back feels. 
Wonderful. And then we're going to extend the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling. You can have the knees bent, don't worry about that, but start to rotate your wrists and ankles. So feet up as well if you can. Okay? And rotate the wrists and ankles a few times in one direction and a few times in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And then we're going to put the left foot on the mat with the knee bent. Okay. Bring the right knee in towards the chest again and give it a really good hug. Okay. And then those of you who have no back issue, you might want to extend your left leg straight out in front of you. If you have any back pain, you can keep the left knee bent, if that's okay. okay. And once you've extended that left leg, flex the foot. So draw the toes towards your face. And start to do hip circles into that right hip joint. So start to move that right hip joint in a circle, so as if you're drawing circles with your knee. And you go like that a few times in one direction. And then go a few times in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And we're going to hold the back of our right thigh. Okay, so just the back. And if you're struggling to get your head on the floor properly as you do that, then you might want to grab a brick and place it under your head so you can see your head back to the back. There you go. Okay. And as you breathe out, you're going to point the left, no, the right, the right, point the right toes and extend the leg up towards the ceiling. Okay. And then breathe in, flex the foot and bend, and bend the knee back down. I can't talk now. And then breathing out, point the toes again and extend the leg up to the ceiling again. And then breathing in, flex and bend. Okay. And I'm going to reverse that. So now this time, as you breathe out, I'm going to keep the foot flex and reach the heel all the way up to the ceiling and notice the difference. And as you breathe in, point the toes and then bend the knee. Okay. One more time, breathing out, flex and extend. Breathing in, point and bend. Lovely. And we're going to lower our left leg down to the floor. Right leg even. Why am I saying? I'm getting on my left and right wrong already. Right. So we're going to bring the left knee this time into the chest. Okay. Flex your right foot. Remember you can always bend the right knee if your lower back hurts, right? And start to do hip circle into your left hip joint. Okay. So just start to, as if like you're drawing circles with your left knee. Moving in one direction a few times, and then go in the opposite direction a few times. And then come back to center, hold the back of your left thigh. Okay? And as you breathe out, I'm going to point the toes and reach the foot up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, flex and bend the knee. Breathing out, point and extend the leg. Breathing in, flex and bend. And now we're going to, breathing out, keep the foot flexed and reach the heel up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, point and bend. Breathing out, flex and extend. Breathing in, point and bend. And then put both feet on the mat with the knees bent. Okay? And some of you are going to find it comfortable to roll up and down the spine to come up to sit. Some of you will find that really horrible, in which case just roll to one side and come up to sit. So your choice, either you rock up and down the spine and come all the way up to sit, or you roll to one side and come up. Wonderful. I don't know whether you could feel the difference between extending the leg up with the foot flexed or with the foot pointed. All I was trying to do with that exercise really was to say, if you're doing something opposite of what I'm saying, it's not gonna kill you. So if I say, breathe in and you end up breathing out, you'll be fine, okay? So don't, don't worry about it, right? So just be with it, yeah? And eventually it will come to you and you'll find that you, you can follow more easily. But to begin with, just, just breathe. Just... Rule number one, do not stop breathing unless I ask you to, okay? Right, so now we're going to do a little bit of core work. But let's, let's move our spine a little bit. Option one. If you're comfortable sitting in a cross leg position, then do that, okay? If you prefer sitting with the soles of the feet out in front of you, that's fine too. Whatever feels most comfortable, okay? I prefer this version, so I'm going to sit like this. And you're just going to have your hands onto your knees, okay? And as you breathe in, draw the chest forward and look up a little. 
As you breathe out, you're going to drop your chin down towards your chest and pull the belly in and up. Inhale, lift the chest, look up a little. Exhale, drop the chin, pull the belly in and up. Again, inhale, lift the chest. Exhaling round the spine, lifting the belly up. One more. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale and round the spine. And then come back up to centre. Grab a brick and put the soles of the feet on the mat with the knees bent and take the brick in between your inner thighs. Okay? Now, we're just going to start by squeezing, staying upright and just squeezing the brick, but working with the pelvic floor muscles. And you've all been to those, like, you know, the matlock fairs and whatever, where they have those machines with a claw that comes down to grab a toy and lift back up. I want you to imagine all the muscles in your pelvic ball to be like that claw. So when you're breathing in, the claw opens and drops down. When you're breathing out, the claw squeezes shut and lifts up. Okay, so sitting tall, you can have your hands for support or you can hold the back of the knees. Okay? Inhale, let the claw open and drop down. Exhale, squeeze the brick and let the claw shut and lift all the way up. Inhale, open and relax. Exhale, squeeze and lift up. Inhale, open and relax. Exhale, squeeze and lift up. One more time. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Can we feel that? Okay. And we're now going to add a bit of movement with it. So option one, keep your hands on the floor for support. Option two, you're going to bring your hands forward. Okay. And when we breathe out, we're going to make a fist and lean back, pulling in. Or you just stay here and lean back like that. Yeah. So wherever you want to be, have the knees bent. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, squeeze the brick, lift the pelvic floor, lean back with a long spine. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, squeeze, lean back with a long spine, pull the belly in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze and lean back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, lean back. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. And then come back to centre. We're going to move the brick out of the way, give the legs a little shake, okay? And then we're going to do a little bit more core work here. So I'm going to keep the knees bent, feet on the floor, okay? And I want to challenge those of you who are feeling stronger today. I'm looking straight at you because she comes to my strong class. <laughs> so we need to think about not using your hands to help you, okay? But if this is like your first yoga class, and you don't normally do very much, please have the hands for support. I don't want you falling over, right? So I'm going to put my hands down for support just to show you. We're going to inhale here. As we exhale, we're going to lean back, come onto the tippy toes, and maybe float the feet up. Maybe you keep the toes down. Just relax and meet them up. And then if you've got the feet up, we're going to exhale, put the soles of the feet together, and lower the knees back down. And if you're here with the tippy toes, the same thing, just lower down, yeah? So with or without hands, now I'm going to do it with no hands, right? So sit nice and tall, knees bent, squeeze your legs together and you can have your hands down for support. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine. And if you're not using your hands, bring your hands to your heart. As you exhale, lean back a little bit and come onto the tippy toes, drawing the feet in a little closer to you. And then maybe some of you will want to lift the feet up, take a breath. As you breathe out, bring the soles of the feet together and drop the knees down. Yeah, let's do it again. So inhale now, bring the feet back onto the floor and maybe exhale, lean back, tip the toes on the floor or float the feet up. Inhale, open the feet, uh, open the knees away from each other. Exhale and lower down. And again, inhale, feet back on the floor. Exhale, squeeze, lean back. Maybe you lift, maybe just the toes on the floor. Inhale, soles of the feet together. Exhale, lower down, wonderful. And then just take your legs and shake them up. And we're going to come onto our hands. Actually, no, we're not, I lied. My brain doesn't always work, as you know already from this morning. <laughs> so if you can take your legs wide, it doesn't matter how wide. Just take your legs a comfortable distance wide, flex the feet. Okay, we're good. And take, yeah, you can, that 
Stack there. Well done. Take your hands behind your head. Okay? And sit really tall. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, have a little bend over to the right and spin your chest up. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, have a little bend to the left, spin your chest up. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, back up to center. Flex the feet and have the sense of digging your heels into the floor. As you exhale, keep a long spine and just come a little bit forward. Okay? And then just let your neck relax a little. You might want to sway side to side. And then inhale, come back up, release the hands. And now we're going to pick up the back of the knees, bring the feet in and take your legs out to one side and we're going to come onto our hands and knees. So if you find that the floor is really hard, okay, imagine that that's the front of my mat, right? You can flip the mat like that and place your knees onto the pad a bit so that you don't hurt, okay? But if you're happy where you are, then that's cool. Get your shoulders, elbows and wrists in alignment okay? and spread your fingers and thumbs evenly and have your knees underneath your hips okay? and then have a little look at your elbows. If you're one of these people that pop their elbows forward, you may have a little bit of hypermobility. So I'd like you to soften the elbows just a little. So you're not bending a, a lot, but just a little. Okay? Now press your shin bones deeply into the floor and notice how that engages your belly. Inhale, slide your chest a little bit forward and look up. Exhale, push into your hands, into your shin bones and round the spine. Inhale, slide the chest forward and look up. Exhale and round the spine again. Inhale, heart forward, look up. Exhale to round the spine. And then I want you to wriggle the spine. So pretend your spine is like the prettiest little rainbow snake and it needs to wriggle. So let everything move. Let your head move so that your neck gets movement. Your shoulders need to move. Your hips just really go freely. But there's no right, no wrong. Okay? There's so many nerves that come out through the joints of the spine. And if we can move the spine, then the nerves get stimulated and the brain gets stimulated. So have a good little wriggle. Wonderful. And we're going to sit back onto our heels. So slowly move your bottom back to your heels. If this is not working for you, you might want to take the two bricks and see if you can kneel back onto the two bricks. And if that's still not working, sit comfortably. Okay? So those who can kneel back, kneel back. Okay. So if it's not comfortable, just change position anytime. Okay? We're just going to rotate the wrists out. Yeah, just sit, get comfortable. And then go in the opposite direction. And I also want to say, I know about hypermobility because I'm hypermobile. So when you see me doing that with my hands, I often get new people doing that because they think that that's what I want them to do. I don't. I just want you to have straight hands. My fingers from Thai dancing, they just do funny bendy things like that, so just ignore my weird fingers, okay? Right, we're going to come back onto our hands and knees and we're going to do another little exercise and this is great for your buttocks and your hamstring, right? I'm going to turn sideways so you can see, you guys have seen me do things like this, sorry, that's like not sideways, that's bump to your face, not to your So, make sure you've got your knees underneath your hips and your wrists underneath, underneath your shoulders. We're going to think about hugging everything in towards the midline. So think about squeezing your arms in towards each other, squeezing your legs in towards each other, and we're going to inhale, lift the right knee off the floor. Okay? Keep the foot flex and try not to rock over to the left, hug everything into the midline. As you exhale, we're going to point the right toes and draw the foot towards the bum and lift the knee up. Have a little rest anytime, okay? Flex the foot again and inhale, release it away. Exhale, point and pull the foot in. One more, inhale, flex. Exhale, point and pull the foot in. And now when you can hold it and press the knee up a little bit more. And I think you can feel your bum talking to you right now. 
and then exhale, lower that down. And just be somewhere comfortable, shake the wrist out before we do the second side, okay? So, if you, if you want to rest, I'm happy for you to rest. If you want to do something different. I've got that knee and I can't be on it the more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I, I was gonna say, if you want to try, you know when we were lying down and we were bending and, and extending the leg, if you want to lie down and repeat that, that's fine. Yeah, but if you want to have a little rest, that's good too. So let's do the second side, <laughs> right? So have everything hugging into the midline, okay? And then when you feel, yeah, then when you're feeling ready, we're going to inhale and lift the left knee up, hug everything in, flex the foot. Exhale, point the toes and pull the foot towards your bum. Inhale, flex the foot and release the foot away a little. Exhale, point and pull in. Inhale, flex and release away. Exhale, point and pull in and hold it. Press the knee up, 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 up. And then lower down. Yay, we're done with that. So we're going to come up to stand, okay? So take your knees a little wide. Walk your hands back towards your knees. And you're going to push down into your hands, into your feet. Lift your knees up and keep walking your hands back until you can get the heels down. And once your heels are down, we're just going to bend the knees and hang forward in a soft forward bend. If you have any low blood pressure, don't hang out for too long, okay? And then nod your head yes, and shake your head no. And then use your next out breath, push into the feet and begin to roll the spine all the way up. And once you come all the way up to stand, we're going to inhale and reach the arms up and exhale, release the hands down. And you might want to just give your shoulders a bit of love rolling back and down. I'm loving the rainbow and I don't know what it's got going on. Do you mean quadri? <laughs> so cool. <laughs> and then go forwards a few times. Right, so you might want to keep bricks at the front of the mat now. Okay. Obviously, if your hamstrings are working just fine, you can have any of the Have Right, so come and stand at the front of the mat. Okay. And make sure, if your socks are slippy, take them off. I don't want you to fall over. But if the socks are not sleepy, then that's sleepy, slippy, then that's fine. Okay. So let's start with our feet roughly hip width apart. Okay. And normally, we measure hip width by taking two fists like that. Okay. And then you bend the knees and play, place your fists in between the arches of your feet and you want everything touching. And that would be roughly hip width. And then you release and slowly come all the way back up. And from here, we're going to step our left foot back. And I want you to imagine that you're standing on like tram lines, right? You don't want to move your left foot onto the right track. Just keep it on the left track, okay? So take your weight into your right leg, step your left foot back. And you want to have the left big toe roughly pointing towards the front left corner of the mat. <laughs> I'm the yoga teacher that falls over on a regular basis. So have a sense of hugging your inner thighs in towards each other. We're going to inhale and take the arms all the way up. As you exhale, bend your right knee. Take your hands to rest onto your lower back and have a little fold forward. And then push into the feet, inhale, straighten the right leg again and lift the arms back up. Exhale, bend the knee again and fold forward. And some of you might want to fold a little deeper. And then inhale, press into the feet, straighten the leg and come up again. And again, exhale, last time, fold forward, bending that front knee. And then inhale, come all the way up, fabulous. Keep that front leg straight as you lower the arm down and you're going to spin onto the ball of the back foot, right? So you keep a little bend in the front knee as well. So you're lifting your back heel up basically, okay? And then from here, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to slowly come down with a long spine and maybe you want to put your hands onto the bricks and okay? turn them up as high as you need them to be. Maybe you can get your hands all the way down to the floor, okay? Squeeze your legs together. Inhale, look a little forward. Exhale, gently fold any amount of your leg. Okay? And then inhale, lift your chest forward again. Exhale, a little fold again. And one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, fold. 
Inhale, bend that front knee, okay? so your hands can still stay on the bricks. Okay? As you exhale, you bring your left foot forward. Okay? And then inhale, come up halfway so that your spine's nice and long. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. Inhaling the arms up and exhale, exhaling, release. And shake that like right leg out and shake the left leg out. If you can levit, levitate, I can't <laughs> But if you can, you can shake both legs at the same time. <laughs> Maybe if we do enough yoga, we get enlightened. Right, I don't want to be that enlightened. So soften the knees a little bit. Okay, we're going to take our weight into our left foot this time and step the right leg back. Did I send a yoga teacher that falls over the regular places? Yeah. Have your right big toe roughly pointing towards the front right corner of your mat and squeeze your legs together. Okay. Same thing as before. We're going to inhale the arms go up. As you exhale, bend that left knee hands onto your back and fold forward a little or a lot. Inhale, push into the feet, lift back up, arms go up. Exhale, bend the knee and fold forward. Inhale, push into the feet, lift up. Exhale, bend and fold. And then inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, release your hands down to your hips. Okay? And we're going to spin onto the balls of the back foot. And the reason we do that is if you have a look at my hips, right? When I've got my heel grounded, my hips are going that way, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And what I want is my hips to be forward. So when I fold forward, I don't compromise my lower back, okay? So I'm going to lift the heel up and spin all of my toes forward, and then my hips come forward, right? Inhale here, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, squeeze your legs together and start to fold forward with a nice long spine. And then again, the hands can come onto the bricks, any height that works for you, or onto the floor. Squeeze the legs and inhale, look a little forward. Exhale, fold over your leg. Inhale, lift the chest again. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, bend that front knee. Exhale, step your back foot forward. And then hands come onto your thighs and inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, push into the feet and come all the way up. Inhaling, the arms go up. Exhaling, release the arms down. Right, so now we're going to do warrior two. So, sorry, did I mention that that was warrior one? With the front knee bent, arms up, which we didn't do really because we had the front leg straight. So we're going to do warrior two before we do warrior one, but never mind. Um, everybody step your left foot back and turn so that your feet are facing the long edge of your mat, okay? And so turn all the way to face the long edge of your mat and have your feet wide. So they're almost one leg length wide, right? So be generous with that step, okay? And then take a little look at the outside edge of your feet. You want them aligned with the end of the mat. So don't turn your feet out. If anything, the toes come in just a little, okay? And we're going to soften both knees a little bit Keep the left foot as it is. Remember, I'm mirroring you. You're going to turn your right foot to the front of your mat. Okay, so just the right foot. And then straighten the left leg as you bring your chest back to the long edge of your mat. So you're facing the long edge of the mat. Okay? Then from here, think about not sticking your bum out behind you, but pull your belly down in and the tailbone down. Inhale. As you exhale, bend the right knee so the knee sits in line with the ankle. I want you to have a little look to the inside of your right leg. You want to be able to see your right big toe, okay? And then when you're ready, inhale the arms to shoulder height. Wonderful. As you exhale, your left hand is coming down and you're going to lean towards your left leg as you straighten your right leg. And then inhale back next time, back into, sorry, did I say inhale every, every time? See, even the teacher can't get the breath right. What, what chance have you got? Let's do that again, shall we? Inhale, straighten the right leg, left hand down, right arm up. Exhale, bend the right knee, arms back to shoulder height. Okay? Inhale, go in, you can cross your arms so you're not leaning. Okay? And as you exhale, back into warrior two. Take a nice deep breath in here, keeping the knee bent now. As you exhale, reach your right arm forward. 
and then maybe you can bring your hand onto your thigh. Some of you will get your forearm onto your thigh, okay? And spin the chest up, take the left arm up, and squeeze your legs in towards each other. So have a sense of pulling your feet towards each other without moving them. Some of you might find it's comfortable to take that left arm over your ear and towards the front of the mat with the palm facing the floor. Keep spinning your chest up and breathe. Some of you might want to take the right hand all the way down to the right ankle. Your choice, okay? But make sure the chest is spinning up. Wonderful. On your next in-breath, you're going to push into your feet Reach the left arm up and come all the way up into warrior two. Straighten your right leg, release the arms down and spin your right foot in. Spin your left foot out. So Rebecca, take your feet a bit wider. Yeah. And then turn your left foot out and then left foot all the way to the end of the mat. And again, we're going to keep our chest and our hips facing the long edge. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, bend your left knee and have a little look, making sure that the knee is pressing out. And also, can you have the knee in line with the ankle, so it's not reaching forward, it's stacked above the ankle. And if your knee is going forward, you might need to shuffle your foot a little further forward, okay? And then think about drawing your belly in, tailbone down, inhale the arms to shoulder height, beautiful. As you exhale, think about drawing the feet towards each other without moving them. On your next in-breath, we're going to straighten the left leg. Right hand goes down, left arm goes up as you lean towards your right leg. And then exhale, bend the left knee, arms coming back to shoulder height into warrior two. And inhale again, straighten that left leg and lean towards the right. Exhale, bend the left knee, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, straighten and lean back. Exhale back into warrior two. Check that front knee, don't let it drop in. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, reach your left arm forward and either the hand comes to the thigh or the forearm comes to the thigh. And then inhale, spin the chest up, take the right arm up. Okay. Breathe. Some of you might want to take that right arm over your ear so that your hand reaches over your head. Some of you might want to take your left hand down to your left ankle, but keep spinning your chest up. Okay. And don't let your head drop forward. Is it okay? Go. Very good. Lovely. And then when you're ready, you're going to push into your feet. Inhale and come all the way back up into warrior two. Exhale, straighten the left leg, release the hands down, and turn your left foot in so that the feet are parallel again. Okay. And I'm going to work your glutes a little bit more and your hamstrings. So you're going to turn the heels in. And we're not in ballet class, right? So you don't have to go like all the way out, okay? Just a little bit in. And so the toes point out a little. Those of you who do ballet, if you do ballet, go ahead. <laughs> right, hands onto your hips. Okay. Take a deep breath in. Now as you exhale, I want you to lean your chest forward and bum back just a little. And then start to bend the knees, but push the knees out wide. Okay? So the knees are going in the same direction as your toes. And bring your hands onto your thighs. Okay? And just gently rock it out side to side. I won't maybe stick your tongue out and make funny faces in this pose just yet. Maybe next time. <laughs> I don't want to scare you already. Wonderful. Are we feeling that? Oh, good. Let's inhale and come all the way back up. What's the point of doing it if you're not going to feel it? Turn the toes forward again. Okay. So again, making sure, if anything, the toes are a little bit turned in to help you go into a forward bend. Okay. Soften the knees a little. Take your hands to your hips again. Take a deep breath in, lengthen the spine. And as you breathe out, you're going to fold from the hip creases with a nice long spine. Okay. And when you're feeling some sensation in the back of the thighs, you can stop. Maybe your hands come to the floor. Maybe your hands don't come to the floor. You can just keep them on your hips. Some of you will have your hands all the way on the floor and you can fold a little deeper, bringing your head towards the floor and that's cool too. Now think about taking the weight towards the front of your feet. Okay. I'm taking the feet even wider than your head. And then if you want to gently sway your upper body side to side, you're welcome to. Okay? But make sure you drop the neck. So not drop the neck, don't drop the neck, drop the head. So let the neck be completely relaxed. Okay? And sway it out side to side. 
and then when you feel ready we're going to come up so I want you to think about bending both knees a little and use the out breath to push into the feet and come all the way up and then just stay there a moment and breathe okay. option one which is gentler you're going to heel toe heel toe your feet back together option two you're going to bend the knees and when you jump and you land make sure you land with your knees bent okay so either heel toe heel toe your feet together or hop and land lightly wonderful and then let's um turn back to the front of the mat we're just going to do a side bend if you wanted to triangle instead for those of you who've done enough go ahead okay i'm just doing an easy side bend for you. yeah prefer to do a side bend with me yeah okay but take your feet almost mat width apart and then again see i'll do it here if you can cover the edges of the mat with the outside of your feet a little bit yeah okay and then we're going to inhale the arms up to shoulder height as you exhale left hand passes in front of your right arm reaches up and you lean over inhale back up to center exhale over the other way inhale coming back to center exhale over to the side inhale center exhale to the right one more time inhale back to center exhale to the left inhale center exhale to the right inhale back to center exhale release the hands down and bring your feet back together now we've been working in all the classes this week so much on the hamstrings and the glutes so all the really strong classes have been doing things like standing splits and all, which we're not going to be doing in this class unless you want to, you're welcome to. Um, for all of you. But what we're going to do instead, okay, you all have, see the ballet bars there, right? So you have something to hang on to, okay? So, but, but you may not need to hang on to it, only if you need it, right? If your balance is iffy, you're just going to stand one hand on the bar. If your balance is okay today, what you're going to do is take your weight into one leg, Pick the other leg up. We start with the knees together, like that. Okay, watch a second. And then we're going to flex the foot. No, we're not. We're going to point the foot. <laughs> and then we're going to draw the foot towards the bum as we press the knee back and then we relax. And then we do it again. Yeah? So exactly as we were doing, really, on our knees, we were doing it standing up. So you might want to hang on to the bar for support. You might not need the bar for support. Okay? So let's start by taking our weight into our right foot. Watch that you don't lock the knee out, so have a little soft bend in your right knee, yeah? And then as you breathe out, lift the left foot off the floor. Let's start with flexing it first. And bring the knees together. Squeeze your knees together. Now point the left toes and start to draw the foot towards your bum and press the knee back behind you a little bit. Inhale, bring the knee back, flex the foot. Exhale, point and press back. Inhale, flex and lower. Exhale, point, draw the foot towards your bum, press the knee up. One more time, inhale. Exhale, point and press back, beautiful. And then lower down, give that leg a little shake. I will stretch it out for you in a moment. I will ask you to stretch it out, I will stretch it for you. Shall we do the other side? So you might need to turn around at the bar, okay? And now take your weight into your left foot, making sure that your left knee is slightly bent so you're not locking out your joint. And then we're going to lift the right foot up, flex it, and take the knee in line with the left knee. Take a breath in, and as you breathe out, point the toes, draw the foot towards your bum, and press the knee back. Inhale, flex the foot, and lower the knee back. Exhale, point, draw the foot towards your bum, press back. Inhale, flex. Exhale, point, foot towards your bum, press. One last time, inhale, bring the knee back to center. Exhale, point, foot to bum, press, hold, smile. And lower down. Oh, I hope you feel your hamstrings working now a little bit. You, in a yoga class, we normally <coughs> stretch, stretch, stretch. And then you come to my class. <laughs> but now we are going to stretch it out, okay? So, oh, should we go down to the floor to do all the stretchy things? No, let's do one standing balance and then we'll go down. How about that? So, because we've been working these quite a lot, I thought that the angel pose might be a really lovely pose to do. Okay? So, I'm going to start by showing you. We're going to start with our legs together. And I want you to feel just 
feel for a moment. Bring your legs as close together as they will go. And then do nothing. I like this. And notice how there's no engagement anywhere, right? And now plug the feet into the mat. Squeeze your inner thighs in. Now can you feel your belly sort of firing up a little bit? Okay? So hug in, have that sense of pulling in to engage the core, but relax the shoulders. And now we're going to take our weight into the right foot. I'm going to demo, I forgot. We're going to step one foot back just a little so that it's the tippy toe that's on the floor, right? So let's do that together. So let's take our left foot back. It doesn't matter if you've gone right, gone right. Okay? You're on the tippy toe, squeeze your legs in, okay? and lift your chest up, and then take the arms up wide as if you're like, they're like your angel wings here, right? Now squeeze your legs a little bit more and see if you can start to lift your left foot off the mat and keep lifting the chest up. Beautiful, my fellow out, like you, you're, you're still there, so well done. And then exhale, release down. Lovely. That was one of my favorite standing balances, really. Let's do the other side, right? So start by squeezing everything in so you feel the core engaging. And we're going to take the right foot back so you're on the tippy toe of that right foot. Squeeze your legs together. Begin to lift the chest up and then take the arms out and up. And keep squeezing your legs together. See if you can start to lift that right foot off the floor and lift the chest a little bit more. If you're struggling, you can put the toes down, but just have that sense of pressing the heel back. And then exhale and lower and soften the knees a little bit and do a few hip circles just to release into that lower back. This is nice, I like hip circles. And then in the opposite direction. Wonderful. Um, I'm gonna, I was going to take you down through a squat. I'm guessing not everyone's going to be able to do the squat. If you have bad knee, you don't want to be doing a squat, really, do you? So, options, okay? Those of you who can do a squat, we're going to do a squat. Those of you who struggle to do a squat, I want you to find your way down to the floor. Sit down like that, so that you're squatting that way, yeah? You might even want to sit on the front edge of the brick so you're a little bit up higher okay if you are happy to squat with me you're going to take your feet a little bit they offer it take your feet a little bit wide turn the toes out okay bring your hands to your heart take a deep breath in and as you exhale stick your bottom back and bend the knees out to the sides and lower down now if your toes don't uh, toes if your heels don't stay on the floor that's okay and if you're struggling at any point you can bring the hands down but if you're okay here, press the elbows into the knee. Even if you're sitting down, you can still press the elbows into the knees, hands together at your heart, and press the knees out wide. And just close your eyes for a moment. And breathing in, allow the muscles of the pelvic bowl to release all the way down like the claw opening. Breathing out, squeeze the claw shut and lift up. And one more time. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze and lift up. And now we're going to sit down. So those of you already sitting, stay there. Those of you who can sit back onto your bum with no issue, just go ahead and sit back. If that's not comfortable, walk your hands forward, lower the knees down, and then sit down. Okay. Are we good? Mm -hmm. Yay. So let's take the legs straight out in front of us. Okay. And feel free to stay sitting on the front edge of the brick if you want to, or you can just sit on the floor, whatever works, right? We're going to... So if you are on the brick you might want to put your hands down so you don't fall off the brick okay if you're not on the brick i'd like to, you to try okay not using your hands to do any of the, the the movements now you're going to keep your left foot flexed on the floor you're going to pull your right foot in okay and then drop the right knee down wonderful and then inhale lengthen the spine hands behind your head exhale Squeeze everything in towards the midline and fold a little forward. Inhale and lift back up, lift the chest. Exhale, keep the spine long and begin to fold forward. One more time, inhale and lift up. And exhale, 
fold. And now you can relax the hands down and relax the neck and shoulders. Keep your left foot active and maybe gently sway the upper body a little bit side to side. Inhale to slowly come back up. See if you can do this without using your hands. And please use your hands, this one. Okay. Bring your right foot back down. Okay. And we're going to cross the right foot to the outside of the left knee. You can go into the full pose, but don't use your hands. Oh. <laughs> so you can lean over to the left like that and then fold. Oh. Yeah, so you've got to use your quad to do it. So if anyone wants to do this, you're welcome to try, but make sure that you can get both of your sit bones back on the floor, right? So you're not hiking it up like that. You want to be sitting tall. If that's not working, keep your left leg straight. There's no harm in keeping the left leg straight. Hands to your heart, okay? And take a deep breath in as you lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, slowly twist to the right. And hold it there and breathe. And some of you might find that it's quite comfortable to bring that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. So you can go a little deeper into your twist and you can breathe. Deep breath in. As you exhale, you're going to turn all the way to the left. But this time you do have to use your hands, right? So take your left hand to the floor behind you. Take your right arm to the inside of your right leg okay? and you're going to roll onto your left hip, press the right arm and the right leg against each other and twist and look back towards your left hand and breathe. And then inhale here, exhale, turn back to the front. Just one more little thing with our hands on this side before we do the other side. You're going to bring the right outer ankle to rest onto your left thigh. Okay, so just above the knee. Extend that left leg straight out in front of you now if you can. Okay, just for now. And I'll show you why. And then sit nice and tall. So option one, you can have your hands on the floor. Actually, you might want to come off the bricks for this one. Because I think it might just, yeah, send you backwards otherwise. Option two, don't use your hands, right? So your hands can come to your height. Either hands on the floor or hands to your height. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, lean back a little and slide your left foot onto the mat, any amount, okay? If you're here, you're here, and feel free to stay here, okay? Those of you who've come up here, sit tall, nice and tall, long, long, long spine. And maybe some of you want to try floating that leg up. Maybe not, maybe you just want to stay here, but can you keep the spine long? And then well done, everybody. Exhale, slide that leg out. Lower your right foot down, okay? And we have to do the other side. So you're going to keep the right leg active, bend the left knee in, put the left foot down, and then drop the knee out to the side. If your knee is sort of hiking up quite high, remember you can, well, I don't know if you remember, but you might want to place the brick underneath, right, for support, okay? Hands behind your head now, that's it. Inhale, lengthen the spine, elbows wide. Exhale, dig the right heel in and begin to fold a little or a lot. Inhale and come back up, lift the chest. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale and come up again. And exhale, dig the heel down, fold forward, and then maybe relax the hands down, relax the neck, and sway the upper body a little side to side. Then inhale and come up. So you can use your hands or not use your hands. If you're not using your hands, hands come here. We're going to bring that left knee up and cross the left foot to the outside of the right knee. And feel free to stay here with the right leg straight, but some of you will want to lean to the right and bring that right foot towards your bum. <laughs> My foot got stuck there. And then get that left sit bone firmly planted, okay? Take a nice deep breath in, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, you're going to twist to the left, okay? And breathe, relax the shoulders a little bit. And you might try to get your right elbow to the outside of your left knee to create a deeper twist if it feels good. Okay? Breathe deeply. Uh, 
Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to turn all the way to the right and take your right hand down behind you. And left arm just comes to the inside of the left leg somewhere. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn to look over your right shoulder. And breathe. deep breath in and as you breathe out you're going to come back to the front okay and if you've got that bottom leg bent extend it out and place the left outer ankle onto your right thigh okay so for some of you that might be really horrible you need to be here and that's good it's good enough okay if you're feeling something you're doing it so if those of you who have it higher okay you can either use your hands for support or bring your hands to your heart, take a deep breath in and lean back a little and start to bring your right foot to the floor. And if that's not comfortable, stop and go back down. If you're okay putting the foot there, have it there, lengthen the spine. Okay, so don't slouch, lift up. And then those who want to work a little harder, I don't know why, but go ahead and do it. I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> well done. And then exhale, lower the leg down, slide the foot out and we're going to lower our left foot down. And now we're going to, now we're going to fold forward and we're going to have a little relaxation. Let's do that. So keep the feet flexed, okay? And sit really tall. If your hamstrings are tight, you can bend the knees a little. That's not a problem, okay? Nice, deep, do you know what? Let's just keep to everything we're doing. Hands behind, do the same thing all the way through, shall we? Hands behind our head. Inhale, lift the chest, elbows wide. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs and begin to fold forward any amount. Inhale and lift back up, lift the chest. Exhale and slowly fold forward. Inhale and lift back up. And this time, exhale, fold forward and lower your hands down to the mat. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Keep the feet active, digging the heels down and gently sway the body side to side. And then inhale to straighten <coughs> yourself back up. You're right. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Not COVID, is it? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Get some socks and warm layers on if you wish, because you know, when we stop moving, it gets cold very, very quickly in this lovely building here. Okay? So I'm going to get my socks on. What we're going to do now is we're going to lie down, and I'm going to guide you through a tiny bit of breath work as we're lying down. And all it is is visualization, right? So it's not nothing to get stressed over, just imagine it. Yeah? So, once you feel you're warm enough, lie all the way down onto your back and you can have your legs straight or you can bend your knees, okay? So I'll talk you through the breath work and then I'll, talk, I'll let you have a bit of relaxation and then I will bring you out of relaxation when the time comes, so don't panic, okay? I haven't forgotten about you. So lie down, make yourself as comfortable as you can. Okay? So. If your legs are straight, allow the feet to just naturally roll away from each other and you might release the hands down to the floor a little bit away from you with the palms up. Okay? If your knees are bent, you might want to take your feet a little bit wide and let the knees touch at the center to release your sacrum. Okay? And if you can close your eyes, close your eyes. Now we need to imagine, we're going to breathe up and down one side of the, the, the body and then the other, right? So, Obviously, you're breathing through the nose. You, you're not going to be able to breathe through your feet. It doesn't happen, but we're just going to pretend. So it's just a visualization, okay? So I want you to take your attention to your left foot and to your left palm. And as you breathe in, imagine that you're drawing the breath in through the sole of the left foot and the left palm, all the way up the left side of the body to the center of your forehead. Then as you breathe out, send the breath down the right side of the body, out through the right palm and the sole of the right foot. Then breathing in, up the right side, again, all the way to the center of your forehead. Breathing out, down the left side of the body. Breathing in, up the left side of the body. 
breathing out down the right side of the body. Breathing in up the right side of the body. Breathing out down the left side of the body. Just one more round. Inhale up the left. Exhale down the right. Inhale up the right. Exhale down the left. And now imagine breathing in through both feet and both hands all the way up to the center of the head. Hold the breath there for a moment and then sigh the breath out. And again, breathing in through both feet and both hands all the way up to the center of your head and hold it and then sigh the breath out. One last one, breathing up the feet and the hands all the way to the head, hold the breath and then sigh it out and let go completely. And now allow the breath to flow in and out freely and softly so that your breath now becomes soft and natural and allow your whole body to sink deeply into the support of the mat, into the support of the earth beneath you. So let your whole body sink, let all of the muscles relax, let all the bones drop into the earth. Let the earth hold up all your inner organs and your connective tissues and your skin. Just let everything melt into the earth. And allow your mind to be soft and relaxed. And let your whole body and your whole being be soft and relaxed. And relax. Relax, relax, For a little while longer. And start to gently invite your attention back inside this room. So become aware of where you are. Become aware of your body on the mat. And then become aware of the breath. And start to encourage the breath in to be a little bit deeper and the breath out to be a little bit longer. So encourage each breath to be a little bit more active than the last. And as you do that, take a moment to check in with yourself, see how you're feeling. And then when you're ready, let's take a deep breath of love and gratitude in and hold the breath for a moment. Allow love and gratitude to flow to every cell of your being. And then sigh love and gratitude out into the world. And start to make small movements like wriggling the fingers and toes. And you might want to rotate the wrists and ankles a few times in one direction. And a few times in the opposite direction. And then you can do a big body stretch, reaching the arms and the legs away from each other and get really long, 
wriggle it out. And then on your next out breath, bend the knees, hug the knees into the chest, wrap your arms across your legs and give yourself the biggest cuddle because you've done amazingly. And then roll over to one side and come up to sit and we'll do one ohm to finish the class. So if you don't normally chant, I don't chant for religious reasons. I really am not really religious, okay? I chant because it stimulates our vagus nerves. Okay? So if you prefer to hum, you can do that as well. So you can either relax the hands or bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Oh. And then just breathe, maybe with a little smile on your face. And when you're ready to breathe out next time, bow your head to your heart. Thank yourself for looking after you and for being amazing. Om Shanti, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.